Can you see what's happening right now? Oh my god, okay. Thinking, Caitlin, like, what are you doing? You don't need another new bag. And I completely agree with you there. My entire Dior collection, okay? This is everything that I own from Dior. All about luxury fashion, okay? It is a disease. Yes, you did read that title correctly. I did spend $17,000. $17,000 at Chanel. $17,930. Join the fam, okay? Hit that subscribe button, ring my bell. If you two are infected with the luxury disease. Say hello, everybody. It's me. Hello, I missed you. I'm going into spring right now. I don't. I know I didn't need boots, but I absolutely fell in love with these boots. So here she is in all her glory. This is not a drill. My Hermes Birkin. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a bit weird, isn't it? I'm finally ready to say goodbye um, and it's time to move on. And I just need to start, I just quickly before we get to on my little um, hamster wheel of all the things I want to tell you. I'm not leaving YouTube, but I am leaving the luxury community. I wasn't even going to film today. This was not a planned video, um, hence, you know, the lack of hair and makeup effort. This video wasn't planned and I have absolutely no idea what I'm about to say to you. I'm just gonna tell you what's been going on and kind of speak to you from here. Oh, how nice. I've been on YouTube for seven years talking about luxury fashion. So that was like, I think what when I was like 22 or 23 years old that is a quarter of my life and some of you may have been here from day one and if that is you and whatever stage you decided to hop on I just want to say thank you so much like from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for being here for me for being here with me for showing up like every week and just being in this space with me and getting excited with me and getting excited for me and sharing our love of luxury fashion over the last seven years. Like it's really meant so much to me. Going from having no one in my life to talk to about these things, which is basically why I started talking about luxury fashion online. I didn't have anyone in my real life to talk to about this. So to go from that to having like 40,000 of you, 40 something thousand of you, here to talk about this kind of stuff with <laughs> I guess for me like I said you know 22 23 year old Caitlin I was in a very different headspace um, with a very different set of priorities and a very different value system and a very different brain and you know within the last year so much has changed and I think probably more so within the last I think it's probably been five months, five, six months since I've been on, since I've been off contraceptive, since I've been off birth control. And I think that has had a lot to do with how much I feel like I've changed over the last, you know, six months. But I think it's kind of started a bit before that, to be honest. Some of you, you know, this might not even be a surprise. I think to some of you who maybe really sit here with me and like maybe we share a similar brain, I think maybe this was kind of expected. Maybe you kind of saw that passion die out a little while ago because I definitely think it did start to dwindle and it, it definitely did die out for me. This is kind of like my last official video in front of my my hang, handbag, my handbag, that came out weird, my handbag wall. Um, and I'm probably never gonna utter the words Louis Vuitton or Chanel or Dior on this channel again. Um, and. I just wanted to thank you so much for having me here and allowing me to be part of this community. Um, and I hope this isn't goodbye for all of you, but I feel like it's probably worth mentioning this because I know some of you come here because we get each other and maybe we have similar interests outside of luxury fashion or maybe we just have similar thought processes or similar brains or similar interests or just similar personalities. Um, and I know some of you just come here regardless of what I put up and I really appreciate you. But also I appreciate those of you who come here for hauls and who come to YouTube for hauls and shopping and, and luxury shopping related content. Since those videos will no longer be part of my channel, like moving forward, 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with the last seven years of content. But anyway, just wanted to let you know because if you want to unsubscribe, honestly, like there's no hard feelings. And you know, there are um, so many other really great YouTube channels and I know you know they're there and I know they're there that, you know, post a lot more um, luxury fashion content than I do and are more, well, I should just say they're passionate about it. They are, they live, breathe and eat it and they, they're good at it, they enjoy it, they're stylish, they have the funds and they're happy posting about that kind of content. I don't feel like I'm there anymore. And I think, you know, this I think started for me way back when, <laughs> when I went through my existential crisis. Uh, I'm in search of this feeling and I, I know what it's gonna feel like fully when I feel it, even though I've never really felt it. Like I felt it in like drips and drabs here and there, but this feeling, I guess you could say it's like a void. I think that kind of started to kick off this different thought process. And I think for so long I was kind of ignoring my intuition and I was kind of ignoring, I guess myself in a way, like what my soul and what I wanted. Um, and I think when I started to go in that different direction, when I kind of, had those realizations about luxury fashion and I was starting to do declutters and I was talking about, you know, how empty I was feeling and where I was kind of lacking in, I guess, fulfillment and meaning. And I think that's kind of where I started to, I guess, unintentionally, I, I kind of awoke to that idea, but also naively, I kind of jumped in the deep end of being like, mm, well, I'm kind of not really wanting to talk about luxury fashion right now, but what else am I gonna talk about? And I kind of jumped into this new headspace and I think unintentionally, I kind of didn't really know where I was going and I was kind of dragging you along with me. And like, I think a lot of you guys are resonating with what I was talking about. And to be honest, that's when I felt the most like happy and the most purpose driven and the most fulfilled within my channel. And again, I've never told you guys this. I don't think I ever told you about this. That time in my life was when I was feeling the most connected to my YouTube channel, the most purpose driven and the most like, like I was actually helping and I was actually doing good online um and you know like i don't know a fair i can't speak for everyone but i, I do have a, a strong hunch that a lot of people who want to make youtube videos like their main drive is they just want to help people i do think that's a big component for why people start youtube channels and I've, that's no different for me in that time when i was kind of going through my little existential crisis i felt like i was helping the most you know i was receiving such lovely lovely like heartfelt letters not even just messages and emails but like actual letters and that i cherish them they're in my little box if i was to ever have to leave this house i'd grab flynn and my little box and like those letters and those emails and some of those messages that you sent me are in that box and you know that's when i felt like the most purpose here on youtube was when i was doing that probably gonna continue to buy things but just not in as much excess and i probably not probably i won't Feel the need to share them with you in that same way you know like maybe i'll post instagram stories in with my outfits or maybe you'll see them when i'm wearing them in my videos or something or in my instagram photos but i i no longer want that to be the sole focus of, of what i come online for but i'm not crying so that's good it's because we're at a good phase of my cycle right now where i'm not super emotional this sounds so kooky but i know for a lot of people i don't make it actually isn't that kooky probably not a lot of people i think use their youtube channel or whatever creative outlet they post online as like a reflection of their life that's always what i've used this channel for like it's always been a reflection of my life and i know some people it's not like that some people create like personas some people you know don't even post their face some people just use it for fun sometimes I, I just obviously use it for fun i have fun with it but i think it's always been like a reflection of my life and in my early 20s i felt like i was chasing these things and i was really like heavily heavily in love and crazy obsessed with these things um and it was probably a, a an accurate representation of my life it was probably a pillar of my personality luxury fashion and it doesn't really feel like that anymore and i feel like my life's in a different space and it doesn't reflect my life anymore the last few months a lot's changed for me and i've been shopping less i've been spending less time online less time on social media like in the luxury space and i've been doing things with my life that may seem small and and insignificant to some but to me they've made such a huge difference in my life and i feel so like happy i said i wasn't gonna cry but i'm crying <laughs> I'm I'm just really happy in my life 
like where I'm at in my life right now, for the most part, I'm really happy. Um, like it's not, it's not like a superficial happiness. It's like a, If you have enjoyed some of my more like deeper analytical deeper conversations we've had like obviously if you're a woman trying to you know better their life and just trying to find more purpose and more fulfillment and you just like to talk about more deeper and more meaningful conversations my new content may be of interest to you and that's I guess that's kind of what I'm gonna say on that at the moment but look out for obviously very very different videos than what I've posted here regarding fashion and check out for my kind of rebrand and my channel banner. I feel like I'm just starting again. It's kind of exciting. It's an exciting, I'm not gonna lie, like I'm very, very excited. Thank you so, so much for the last seven years. It's been wild, it's been wonderful. And if you choose to stick around, thank you so much. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. I'm nervous to hear from you in the comments down below. I'm also excited. Um, and I'm just like, I'm excited to feel this passion again for my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and I'm really excited to see you in my next video. Actually, no, one last thing. My next video, I think, will be like a temporary video I'm gonna have up because I'm sure you've seen, I've done multiple declutters on my channel. I've tried to sell things on Facebook groups, on my, through my Instagram, through um, emails, you know, through Vestia, through Facebook groups, what else have I said? Like different platforms and I've sold like a few of my things, but honestly, I, I, if I'm being honest, I haven't really sat down and actually listed a lot of stuff. So I think this next video that I'll do will be different to any of my other declutters. I'm literally just gonna be standing here showing every item that I'm getting rid of. Maybe I'll give rough prices, but that's what I struggle with the most, like giving prices and recommend. I just hate trying to list things for, I hate trying to figure out prices, okay? I'm not good at it. I don't know what to list things for. Half time I don't even know what I paid for some things. Um, but my next video will be a temporary video where I just show everything I'm trying to get rid of and you can just email me what you're serious about. And that, that, that video won't stay up on my channel forever. I'll probably just delete it. It's more of like kind of a, you know, tidy up, housekeeping, clear it on out type of video. Oh God, I'm all sweaty, but also I feel very liberated. Thank you so much guys. Thank you for being patient with me, especially if you are a cancer or if you're just like really in tune with yourself and you kind of are in tune with people. You might've seen this, you might've kind of seen a slight shift within me over the last few months, last year maybe even longer than that. Like the lights kind of slowly dwindled a little bit. Um, and I I definitely feel like this change is well, well overdue. I think I've addressed everything. Thank you guys. Mwah.